Dude, you're gonna get spooled, right? Oh, no. The leader was like, I think 12, and the branch is 15, I think. I mean, the branch is 12, the leader is 15. Shit. Y'all turn? What is up, my adventure crew? Nick Morris here. Welcome to another episode of Real Adventures Hawaii. If it's your first time here, welcome aboard. If you're coming back, welcome back aboard. It's dark. Roy is pretty nice, Grundins. Tonight's adventure, we're gonna try to catch some Ika tonight. I told Roy, I've done this before, why not? It works very easily, why not side? Kanyoi? I don't know. So, Roy says cough Kanyoi before. So, we're gonna try to see. We got some Ika jigs, we got some lights. There's no wind tonight. There's a little bit of swell though, so. Hopefully I can keep my, my dinner down, we'll see. Um, but if you can, if you didn't already, hit the thumbs up, hit the subscribe. Every time you do, you save a dolphin. Right there, that guy. He does tricks, he does tricks, I swear to God. But uh, we're gonna get ready, we're gonna get everything set up. And then uh, we'll see if we can get some Ika. So as always, with any good fishing trip, you gotta start with the Musubi. You gotta feed the sea god. You have to give something to get something. So let's feed the sea god. The way you normally do it, I've done in the past is they're mostly on the surface. We have our lights down in the water, but I'm gonna try, I guess more of like a jig style for them and see if it works. I got a flash bomb on top. Links will be in the bottom for this because it flashes, the light flashes on these. I have this, these uh, Ika jigs. And I'm gonna put a lead on the bottom. It's more like a Damashi style, let's see if it works. And I have a couple other ones that are just uh, the single on top style. So we'll see. So uh, let me set this up and I'll be right back. Oh, Roy's gonna use that one. See, that's the one I used before, but only like a single one. You have like a triple. You're already trying to slay him today, huh, Roy These boy? You guys have no chance. <laughs> God damn. You weren't supposed to hook that, Roy. Uh oh. You sure it's not the shark we saw swimming? Well, it is. It is a I'm not sure why Roy's making noise now. Go hold this thing. <laughs> Are you videotaping? I think Roy hooked the shark. We saw a little like four foot shark by the boat. We just started going for a coolie first drop. And Roy hooks into a dozer. Dude, you're gonna get spooled, Roy. Get spooled. What do we have here? Pretty sure it's a might be a lure. I think the shark might have broke off by now, right? Maybe. Might be a big Olua. We literally just saw like a four foot sandbar shark or I don't know what kind of shark it was. It was a gray shark. Came right by the boat. Like right before he dropped. And Roy Boy goes and does this. First drop. Tried for Ika. Wasn't working. I think our drift was too fast. We don't have a shoot or nothing, so we're drifting pretty fast. We came inside trying to catch a coolie. We came inside trying to catch a coolie, and next thing you know, Roy Boy is like, first drop, not even, not even 30 seconds in the water. Let's hook something super big. Let's get a dozer. <laughs> He's staying at his depth he likes, man. I'm telling you. Yeah, he's hugging the bottom. That's why he's right on the bottom. He can't go any deeper. <laughs> he's going to tire out. I bet you it's a little. Because that line should have cut by now. Oh, boy. Get him turned. Get him turned. All right, we'll be right back. We'll be right back. 20 minutes later. So Roy's trying to get the fish up. It's definitely off the bottom now. Roy's getting some line back in the reel. The fish is tired. Just die. die. Just die. Please just die. Hey, if this isn't a lure. We're going to 44 bang stick him. Ah! Oh, oh. Just came off. Man. Bitch was a lure. It is what it is. Oh, that sucks. So close. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was so close. That was the first drop. That was a lure. Let me okay, see. First hook. First hook is gone. Is the line sandpapered? No? No. Here. Yeah, that's probably Olua. Right next to the flash bomb too. The flash bomb bottom up, bro. You yep. probably checking the flash bomb. Yep. Yeah, for a coolie fishing, all you need is a light like this, a green light with a lead. Uh I'll try to freeze on Amazon. I'm pretty sure I can put a link for Amazon, but I got this from a friend, a friend gave me this. He was psycho, he was gonna get rid of it, but he gave it to me for free. So I know you're watching, so thank you to my friend that gave me this. I still got it, uh, but yeah, you just need a light, and what happens with the light is the light brings around the bugs, or what we call bugs, like little crabs, little fish, little things in the water that come around the boat, and that in turn attracts the akuli in theory. 
In theory now, this is all in theory now, remember that. In return, the flash bomb also helped to bring them up. I'll talk about later real fast and you'll see what I mean. Yeah, so you can get these on high fish gear. Incredible, incredible. Use the raw 5 code, you get 5% off. Just R-A-H and you get 5% off. You can have your very own disco show. Awesome stuff. Awesome stuff. So we're dropping for a coolie. Oh my god. My Shimano sounds like it needs some oil. I gotta grease this thing. I definitely got a coolie on right now. They only got one though. It's a small one. A little guy. Big guy scad or a coolie. Very, very good eating fried. Like very good eating fried. I think they call them googly eyes in Florida. People use them for bait. But if you guys are using this for bait, you're missing out because these are extremely, extremely good eating. Good stuff right there. All right, Roy. Looks like I'm eating, Roy. <laughs> one. Number one. Had a bite. Right? Okay, let's get some more, boys. Wash my hands. The one you missed was the one we're supposed to have, Roy. That was our Olu sashimi right there, Roy. That was our New Year's sashimi, yeah. That was our new stream right there. Yeah. We got our light tonight with our flash bombs. Action. Oh, yeah. That's a cool, yeah. Oh, that's a dozer. Oh, that's a good size one. Oh, that's a dozer. That's a shimmy size. See, Roy, Roy got another one. How far did you go? You must have went deep. I wasn't going that far. 120. Oh, you went all the way down, huh? That's a cool, yeah. Let's see it, Roy boy. Oh, that's a nice size one. That's be the first or last one. We we're trying the inside earlier. Like we we're trying the inside earlier for Akulia and nothing. So we came outside a little deeper, and out here it definitely has the bite. We're going that deep, boys. That deep. And girls, and girls. I was over here trying to redo my line because I'm missing hooks. And Roy Boy's got some dozers. What do you think? One or two? Probably two. Or one big one. Oh, let's see it. Let's see it. Yeah. Did you lose it or is it? Oh, bruh. I thought that was an Aku. <laughs> I can't, I can't. Oh, is that Aku? Oh, some guys only catch Akus that big, Roy. Oh, that's a big one, yeah. Dude, that's conkers right there. That's real big. Was that on your bottom hook? Huh? Was that on your bottom hook? No, I got one on right now. I got one on right now, Roy. Go, 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 go. No, bring yours in. Hurry up. No, oh, no. I got fly line. No, I'm oh, I got it on right no, now. No. I keep my line tight. Trust me. Oh, oh that's a dozer. Can I keep mine now? <laughs> no, not here, my now. Dude, this is, this is awesome. <laughs> the the Dude, oh, bro! You see that? The thing's huge. Here, get away! Hurry up! Put it in that fish box. Huh? Put a cooler. I need a bank stick. That's why. <laughs> Hurry up! I'm gonna, need, I'm gonna need a bank stick for mine. Dude, this is meal right here by itself. One. Oh, oh. oh no way! Oh my god, that's an eye. <laughs> Look at this thing, huge. Right next to a flash bomb, you see it? Oh, so we're after it here. Well, it's not, initially we're after eco squid. We're after these guys. I like catching a coolie, man. Oh yeah, I love eating a coolie, fried out coolie. Oh. oh when, I made, when I told you to make the poke and the fried bone. Oh yeah. I don't really, you know, I don't really enjoy Fried out coolie bone, yeah. oh. There you go, it's a big one. Balik fried out coolie. You can tell it's like right by the floater, or right by the light too. You think so? Nope. Oh, that's a good size one. Yeah, yeah you. That is going See? Nice one. That's perfect with a little bait yeah. right there. But, we don't have that much. That's for the tummy. That's for the tummy. But it's actually kind of slow tonight. One at a time, it's pretty slow. Sit. Yeah. Sit, yeah. I have to get a butt, yeah, let him sit. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, beat. Brr. Oh, we're on. Oh, my God. What is a meal? Oh, that will yeah. feed one of my kids right there. Try it out, coolies. What's for dinner? Oh, don't run like that. I don't like when they run down. I might have two. No, just one. That's a keeper. That's a... Boy, they're all keepers, Roy. Oh. All right, ripped his mouth. One of the best fish to eat fried, for sure. Let's see it, Roy. Oh, two. Did you get three? Three. Three. Oh, oh four. Four. <laughs> <laughs> That's the guy's thing goes out, right? <laughs> okay. Let's bring mine out now. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we bent. 
This one's swimming weird. Swimming back. Why are you swimming back for? What the hell? Oh. I got two. two. Yeah. Oh, one just came off. No way. We bent. That's a good pile, yeah. Yeah, that was a good pile. Roy boys dropped. He's on. Oh, I just. Oh, that. Oh, I got floating lines. I'm on. Floating, floating lines? lines always a good thing. Yeah. I'm on. Uh, let's see what I got. They're deep, though. Yeah, they're super deep. Oh, that's at least two or three, Roy. Oh, I just lost one. <laughs> yeah, I just felt it pop off. I just lost still one. On, no? I got like three or at least three. Oh, I just felt another pop. Let's see it right here, just. Oh my god, look at that. Let's see that string. One, two, two. There's still on my hand. Oh yeah, there's still on. There's still on. We're gonna be eating good, Roy. <laughs> Me, one. hungry. Mm. Oh, coolie. No. Just one. I had more. I was turning around to watch you, try to get the content. That's a big one though. See, he's ripped his mouth, do you see it? These are just super, super simple flies. I think I made a video on tying these before. Super, super simple flies. Cool. Nothing special. These flash ones though are definitely a big help. They flash all different types of colors. I think I caught more Akuli with the flash ones than I don't use the flash ones. That's the honest oh, truth. Oh yeah, no. I yeah. Think this is definitely it's a game changer. Yeah. I'm glad Roy had two flash ones because I forgot mine at home this morning. I forgot mine at home when I came. I always tend to forget something. Last time we had the wheel video, I forgot my drone remote. I had my drone all charged up ready to go, and I forgot my remote. Always forgetting something. This week, I forgot flash bombs. Roy, floating lines, go all the way down. When your lines float, it's always a good sign. It's one of two things, okay? Either you got a coolie, or you're on the bottom. <laughs> you got something? Outboard motor is back on. Hear them. The grease moved out of the way. <laughs> the grease moved all the way. <laughs> we do speed on this on this uh, Stratic 5000. Come on, Wanakuli. Come on, Wanakuli. Oh, it's a big one. Oh, it's a dozer. Oh, look at that thing. Oh, look at the guy. Dude. Oh, it looks like a Wahanu, yeah. Oh, it slid down. <gasps> He's foul hooked. He was hooked on the side. He's fighting super hard. Foul hooked fish always fight hard. We're going to brine these Akuli real fast. Time is 11.48. Tide's going up too, that's why they're biting out. Tide's going up. Yeah, it is, yeah. 11.48, but we have to be in the harbor at 12.30 because my wife has to go to work. As long as, so long as we have enough for cow cow, good enough. And I think we have enough for the, we're not done yet. Oh, that's a nice one. Oh, the aquarium in Kanye are massive. There you go. Always want to take care of your fish. So the best thing is make a brine. Some salt water, the ice, some rock star. Everything is nice and cold. You gotta have nice fish, you gotta take care of your fish. That's cherry, yeah. Good, huh? Yeah. One more, good. That's cherry. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's good. Let's go now. One more right. cast, yeah? Yep. One more good drift. One more good drift. Okay. You want to try to drop again right here and just see? Yeah. They're still, they're still biting, that's why. Stop on the way down. Try to jig it a little bit. Nothing. Let it go some more. Stop on the way down. I got a bite. I got a bite, right? Right there. Yeah, I got a bite. I'm on. Yeah, bring it up. Deep, though. We're going to try to get a couple on here. Oh, yes. Here we go. We're going to drop back down. We're going to get greedy with it. Oh, that there be one dozer, Roy right, boy. Oh, oh, man. I think I only have one. I think I had two. I think one just came off. It's okay. Oh, now both came off. No, I still got one. He's swimming up. He's swimming up because the Kogale was chasing him. <laughs> <laughs> I got one. Oh, my God. Oh, I told you the Kogale was chasing him. Oh, no. He just got bit on the way up. Damn. Oh, that's how you get for screwed around. You just got bent the way up. Damn. That's how you get for talking that crap. You see that? Oh, oh, Roy. I think he broke loose and just got sniped by another hook. Oh, 
Oh my god. Yeah, yeah I'm pretty sure it's Ulua. That's not Kavili at all. He's foul hooked that thing bad though. The fish? Ah, I think he just came off. Nada. Nada. Yeah, that was on Lua. Guarantee that was on Lua. Let's see it, Roy boy. I was on. One, two. Oh, that's a big one. That's a dozer. Ooh. Three. <laughs> oh, with the surprise. I, I can get out of my seat. Good going, good going. Showberry uh, Cooley right here. Roy wants to see it. Should I put it down next to the camera so we can get the barking? Is he barking? Oh, he's still hooked. He will. Yeah. They grunt. Listen. <laughs> what was that? Fried? It's, yeah. <laughs> Where? Oh, that's a good size shark. We got ourselves a shark, boys. That's probably what's in your freaking coolie. It's coming right behind the boat. Look at him. We're trying to mess with the shark. Here. We got we got our coolie on. This isn't going to be good. This isn't going to be good because this shark is going to try to dive bomb this guy. Guaranteed. Oh! What? I just lost it. I'm a shark. You're a shark? Yeah. I wonder if that's what popped mine off. I felt mine go. I felt like something hit my line. Yeah, the shark is playing with us now. I think. I just lost mine. I think maybe a shark might because it broke my hook off. So overall, we did good for a couple hours of coolie fishing. We tried squidding for a few hours. I think our drift was too fast. That was our our main problem with squidding. The drift is too fast. That's where we're at. Once we get the green machine, we'll go out wine. I'll show you how to catch some squid. Let's see a squidding video coming up in the next month or two. But overall, pretty good day. I told Roy, yeah, for a couple hours of coolie, not too bad. The bite wasn't steady. The sharks came on, they kind of really run the fun. Um, that's right. I think we have maybe like 21. How many we got, Roy? 20 what? 6? 26. 26. So, not bad. Not a not a, not a crazy haul, but 26. More enough for Roy to go home and eat, share with our family. Well, thanks to Roy as always. We'll see you at home for our catching cook. It's going to be something special. My favorite way to eat akuli. Not like last time with the poking stuff, but my favorite way to eat akuli. I'll show you guys. i try to make a special little sauce. Oh, so what is up, man? We're back at home. There's no sharks over here. Uh, but we do have our akuli. So to me, one of my favorite ways to, fr to cook these guys is to fry them up. And I'm going to show you a, a sauce that, to me, is probably one of my most favorite sauces to eat with akuli. I know we did it in the past. We did like... I think it was like akuli pokey and stuff. And Roy did that the other day on his Instagram. He made like akuli pokey. But I'm going to show you how to fry it up and make a dipping sauce where I think it's super good. Super, super good sauce. Simple sauce. And let's get these guys cleaned up and I'll be right back. I think blowing the scales off of the fish is probably the easiest way to descale mostly all fish. As long as you have a hose, that was like a, a, a tip, a nozzle tip. By far the easiest way to blow off the scales. So for frying fish, we want to get our oil to about 320, 330 degrees. Since our oil temperature was good, it was time to start frying the fish. All I did was put some wine salt in the bottom of the oil, and that was about it. And these fish are pretty much just gilled, gutted, and uh, scaled. So they're ready to go. And very, very basic clean, no heads or anything. So we're just going to let it fry for about 2-3 to three minutes on each side. If you didn't notice already, I'm actually doing a voiceover on this cooking part. My external mic died, and I didn't notice until I'm editing it right now, which is kind of junk but anyway for our sauce all i did was dice up maui sweet onions uh the finer the dice the better in my opinion we had a uh, one part of aloha shoyu or any kind of shoyu sauce you have and then one part of vinegar and that pretty much is dipping sauce it's a super simple basic sauce but it tastes so good with the crunch of the onions when you when you uh after the fish is fried and you put pieces of fish in the sauce to me this is one of my most favorite and most basic sauces to make so what you do is just dip it in the sauce and i like to soak it up in the sauce and uh definitely when you scoop it and you take a bite you definitely want to get some of those onions on there those onions add the crunch and that right there is like the best by far so sorry about the voiceover in this video guys honestly i promise to up the game in 2021 we'll be doing I think we'll probably be doing more epic videos. Uh, the quality, I'm going to try definitely up the quality for you guys. Make it a little more entertaining for you guys. Roy Boy, Kat, Kevin, all the guys ready for a new boat. It's going to be some crazy adventures coming up for sure in a very, very near future. Um, this is this part right here. was actually filmed on New Year's Eve. I actually got back from Kona the day before. So I have a boat update video coming for you guys on Tuesday or maybe Wednesday. I have another video for you guys on Thursday and Friday or Thursday or Friday. And then for sure on Sunday, we'll have our fishing, our regular fishing video. But uh, I guess that's it for now. And, you know, thanks for making this your epic. And I can't see what, what we get to do this coming year. 2021, we're going to make it go off. I guarantee you. 
And uh, from my family, your family, happy new year. And I hope all you guys have a great and safe new year. I will see you guys again. Hello, everyone.